Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Walter Lauhe with the Lauhe Group at Keller Williams Freedom, and we got Chris Hodges, Pivot Lending Group here in Colorado Springs. Pivot Lending Group. Hey, check it out, guys. Today's live is going to be about the VA entitlements that have changed. I talked to a lot of you guys, and, and, and a lot of you don't know these changes that have happened. So Chris, the VA expert, is going to explain all that stuff to you, okay? And while we're doing that, I'm going to put this on so we're COVID-friendly, who <laughs> All right, go for it, brother. Awesome, guys. So last year, uh, about this time, Get up in the, camera, the, uh, the VA home loan rules, the entitlement rules changed a little bit. Uh, this was part of uh, one of President Trump's initiatives. And uh, what they did is they passed a bill that did away, essentially, with the cap on the VA loan limit. So the VA loan used to be capped out, and it was by each county, and it was by the traditional conforming loan limits. What that meant is, is if you wanted to go over that conforming loan limit, you would have to bring some additional funds as a down payment. Got it. This new change allows you to actually go as high as you need to without a down payment. Um, so so if the, I want to buy a million dollar house, I can do that with the VA loan. All day long, no down payment. Now here's the catch to that though, is that if you own a home with the VA loan already, so let's say you are PCSing here from you know Clarksville, right? Yeah. And in Clarksville, you have a home that you bought for, we'll call it $150,000, which gets you a nice home in Clarksville. And uh, you keep that home, you, may, you retain it and you rent it out. Keep it as a rental. Right. So when you come here, now we are affected by those conforming limits because you already have some of your entitlement in use back in Clarksville. Got it. So what that means is that you would have essentially around $400,000 roughly to use here and if you had to go over that you would have to bring a little bit of a down payment. So if they wanted to use their full VA entitlement they, they would, would have to re or refinance that home in Clarksville. In Clarksville correct. All right so you guys tracking if you guys do already have a VA loan get it out of the VA part do a refi conventional yeah. or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Or talk to us. It may be a situation where depending on the price of the house you're looking to buy here, you may not have to. You may be in a situation where it's still feasible based on the increased entitlement fees. So there's a lot of different things to it. I guess the key piece is, is if you don't have a VA loan already, if you're not using that VA entitlement on another house currently, there is no max, there is no limit. So you could buy a 600,000, a 700,000, 800,000 million dollar home as long as you can afford it, that's the key, right? We're not just gonna approve you for a million dollars on E4 salary, it's not gonna work that way, okay? Um, so that's a key piece. The other piece though is that the program and the thought behind this was we wanted to make sure, or, or the president did, wanted to help add funds to the VA, right? To increase the coffers to help vets. So the VA loan has what's called the VA funding fee. It's a fee that the VA charges in order to back your loan 100%, right? So you don't have to have a down payment and to insure the loan. That VA funding fee used to be about 2.1% for an initial use of the VA loan, and then for subsequent uses, it was up to three. Uh, now that has changed and they've increased that VA funding fee amount. And the purpose behind that is to fund more VA programs. So now the VA funding fee has gone up to 2.3% for initial use, and 3.6 for subsequent <clears throat> use. On VA EARLS, if you're doing a refinance, it's 0.5%. Now, a lot of you may not know what I'm talking about here. The VA loan does not require you to have a down payment, number one, and it also does not require private mortgage insurance. That's probably the bigger benefit, if you want my honest opinion as a lender, is not having mortgage insurance. You go conventional, you go FHA, the lender requires insurance to protect ourselves yeah. in case you as the borrower default. The VA loan, they cover that for you. They basically say, we're guaranteeing this to you, Mr. Lender, so you don't have to charge the veteran mortgage insurance. That being said, the VA charges a VA funding fee. That's an upfront fee. Most of you probably don't even realize it because if you have used the VA loan before, it's just rolled into your VA loan. So where I find this happening quite a bit is if your purchase price, let's say, is 350,000, um, you may see that your loan amount, your total loan amount, may be 362,000. And that's because we've taken that VA funding fee and we've just put it into the loan so that you don't have to bring that cash up front. The VA says you can do either one, but again, most people are gonna elect to just roll it into the loan. Got it. Um, so anyways, that was one of the other changes as well with the VA loan. We got a question from our friend Jennifer Chambers. Hey Jen, hey, she's asking, do you automatically get back your entitlement when you sell a home and buy another one? 
Yes. So it's it's yes. something that the lender, when we release the loan, when you've paid it off, there's actually a notice that's sent to the VA and it clears and reestablishes your entitlement to 100%. Good question, cool. Jennifer. And for VA, yes. Absolutely. Yep, for VA. Um, what does that, where does that money come from? The uh, funding fee, just so that everybody's clear. That's something that the veteran has to pay out of pocket? No, that's something that gets rolled into the loan, that's right? correct, yeah. So you have the option, right? But 99.9% .9 of folks will choose to roll that VA funding fee into the loan so that they don't have to come up with it out of pocket. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've done it on every one of the VA loans I've ever done. Now, I know before there was something that if you had a disability rating, Correct. That something like that can Correct. offset so stuff? Any disability rating, 10% or more, anything you have when you got out, sleep apnea, whatever it may be, hearing loss, you know, anything. If you have that 10% or more, then there is no VA funding fee charge. There you also, go, on the new rules that came out last year, if you are a Purple Heart recipient, no VA funding fee. So That's if you're Purple Heart, know. you need to make sure you're letting your lender know that, hey, you are a Purple Heart recipient because you don't have a VA funding fee. This guy right here should be your lender. <laughs> Would that? love to be that. Would love to be that for everybody. Um, so yeah, lots of great stuff happening. Now, cool this year, they just released them yesterday, new BAH uh, rates for Colorado Springs. Awesome stuff. So if you're an E1 through E4, BAH rates went up by about $51 if you for uh with dependents got it and if you are an e5 with dependents it went up over a hundred dollars so uh finally bah slowly starting to catch up here in colorado springs i personally think um which is good news so if you're out there considering do i want to rent do i want to buy um you know if you're getting 18 27 a month in bah as an e4 or below why not be putting that to a house yeah you know what i'm saying no absolutely and um April just said, thanks for all the cool information. <laughs> hey, and, and listen, we are going to have something else rolling out, and I'll send it out via Facebook and stuff like that, um, that have the new BAH rates and stuff. Um, stay tuned for that. Chris, is there anything else that you can think of about the VA that's, loan? That's the big stuff right now. Um, you know, we don't see any major changes happening with the VA loan this year, uh, but I would expect, again, some of those, you know, like the conforming rate has gone up here in El Paso County a little bit. Um, we've seen that the BAH is going up. So that's just knowledge we want to get out to you guys. We want to make sure that everybody knows what those new numbers are going to look like because yeah. that just means increased buying power. Yeah. Again, guys, interest rates are super low. Um, you've got some great options here. If you're looking to either buy or sell, give us a shout. Our phone number will be somewhere around here. Um, or you can just call me at 719-287-9002. Jennifer, we miss your face too. <laughs> we do, we do. <laughs> we do. Hey guys, love you. We'll see you next week, Wednesday, 2 o'clock. We'll have another live and some good information. See you all later. Have a good one.